So this is a fuel rail pressure sensor and the Ford 500, we're replacing it. It's held in by those two eight millimeter bolts. Here's the old one. And we're hoping that this fixes the car. The car stopped running on the highway. It sputtered and then came just stopped, right Lloyd? Just shut right off and I had to coast it, pop it in neutral because it was slowing me down too fast. Popped it in neutral real fast and then I coasted it off to the side of the road. And there it is, hiding right there. That's where our new fuel filter is installed. Well, Lloyd? You want to open up the door? I actually have the back seat apart so they can see where the fuel pump is. Your door. And if it turned out that you had a fuel pump that needed to be replaced, here's the access to it right there. So here's our Ford 500. It's a 2006. As you can hear, it's running perfectly fine now. But because of the dirty fuel filter, the car start, was going up the highway, stuttered, and then just stopped. So if it comes up, the code that comes up is for the fuel rail pressure sensor, and it's not always that. Um, it could be either the fuel rail pressure sensor, I would recommend scanning it and check, see what if you have a scanner scan it and see what your PSI is for fuel pressure if it's below 41 you have an issue so as Lloyd was saying we got a, a fuel a fuel rail pressure sensor error code but what it was tripped by the fact that it knew how low that the fuel pressure was too low right obviously when we scanned it it that sensor gives you how much PSI pressure you're going through so if that comes through I would check if you haven't changed your fuel filter and, and you got about 80,000 miles and it hasn't been done, I would actually check that first because that clog and could cause the issue not your fuel pump being weak. Right. Yeah, so, and, and you had how many miles on the car? 80, 80, 80, 85, 84? 85,000. 85, yeah. So, again, what happened is we got, originally got a, here's the uh, fuel rail Pressure sensor. pressure sensor and that gave out a code but the code was the result of having the dirty filthy really bad fuel fil filter in the back of the car so even though we got that code it was not the sensor but what the sensor was measuring is that a good summary okay so anybody with a Ford 500 if your car just stops um, that could be the reason. So You'll feel the car sputter before it dies. You will see the symptoms of it not getting the proper amount of fuel. Yeah. So it's one of two things. If that sensor is not working, if that sensor was the problem, the car would do the same thing. It would want to shut off. Uh, the car actually started sputtering. You could tell it wasn't getting any fuel when it finally shut off. Okay, so we hope this video helps people who unfortunately own Fords. I recommend buying a Chevy. <laughs> <laughs>